afternoon 10 to 5 beautiful day clear blue skies mid upper 80s nice in the shade warm in the sun standard stuff I just wanted to take a couple minutes I'm going to jump this video ahead of all the ones that I have back to August 31st and catch you up to date for a couple things. As everybody knows, I was supposed to have surgery in the morning. And uh, on Friday morning, Russ and I were out riding the um, up in North Carolina, Tennessee. We were riding all the twisties and ended up on the Cherahola. Skyway got, got soaking wet. But anyway, before we got there, we were on one of the four lanes, actually, after we'd come off some twisties, cutting over to uh, 64 or 74, I can't remember. But uh, my phone rang, and I noticed that it was, looked like the doctor's office numbers, different extension that what usually popped up. So I answered it, and it was Erica, Dr. Grunch's PA, and she goes, I've got some bad news. Of course, I just had pre-op yesterday, the day before, and blood work, all that stuff, so you're like, huh? <laughs> well, it turns out the bad news wasn't anything to do with my blood work or anything. It was postponing my surgery. Turns out this surgery is going to be no less than eight hours, more than likely. And I think they had plugged me into the tomorrow slot, even though it was first thing. I think they had somebody on the schedule. She needs the schedule empty for that day for me. So I think that became a problem. All they told me was a, the surgeon's conflict. Dr. Grunch had a conflict. And then October the 10th is my new date. And you know, it's just two, three weeks away no biggie until you think about hurting and you're I was I was ready as heck to uh, you know get, be ready and have this done and over with and um, what can you say <laughs> it's not like you can't stomp your foot and say I demand to have it done so you're like okay you know We'll see you on the tip. Let me know if I have to go back to pre-op, yada, 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 and all that good stuff. And uh, so my new surgery date, I didn't realize I hadn't really told y'all. I've spoken out on video, but I hadn't got the video out. And uh, the Geared Raven wished me good luck this morning. And I thought, oh, Lord, I need to, uh, I need to tell everybody. So I'm going to. I'm going to move ahead and put this video on tonight as a, a total update. But, uh, so yeah, keep your prayers up for October 10th. What in the world? That is bizarre. Truck backing up and another truck pulling. At least they're on their side of the road. But uh, yeah, pray for uh, that date to actually happen. And pray for um, just success. My first thought was, well, heck, does that mean I can make the October 5th Harley Parade with uh, Adam Sandoval and Paris Harley and all that? And I've been thinking about it. But I'm almost, I'm always, oh, 
try that again. I'm also thinking like that ride Friday was about 400 miles right at 12 hours. And then I had to get up Saturday morning and, and ride over to Cycle World for a service and was on the bike some more that afternoon. And I'm still trying to get over it. Now to do that in a series of six straight days in this condition, hello school bus, I don't think I could do it. Plus, I have family in Oklahoma and if I was uh, going out there, my plan is that was to do that, stay at the campground some, and then go on to Norman and uh, see family and then visit all you vloggers that live out there in Norman and, and around the, you know, the Norman, Oklahoma City area. And um, that wouldn't leave but a short time to get back in it just it'd be full of pressure full of pain so once I heal at least it's in the shade not in the sun but um yeah I've kind of decided as much as I would love to participate in that the body's it's just that's pine straw falling out of the trees it just wouldn't be feasible for me Plus, it would mean I probably wouldn't get to see any of my family because it would be out there and back. So, we're going to work on that after we get healed and just take a trip out, visit Paris Harley because this bike came from Paris Harley, Texas. How bizarre is that? And then go to the campground and then go see my family and, uh, my family of vloggers out there. Yep. Oh, haha. <laughs> Check this out. I got home Friday night off my main hammer cam ha helmet cam. I had two full 64 gig cards. 128 gigs of uh, of footage and then my other two cameras and uh, I uploaded them to my laptop like I always do the thing kept telling me it wanted to uh, do updates I postponed it until 1045 I knew my uploads would be done by then because I was I was headed to bed because I had to get up early to go to Cycle World to be in line for my 30K. Ended up number five, getting there 45 minutes early. But um, I got up that morning and whipped up a quick bowl of, you know, of Cheerios. And uh, I'm just going to have to follow you forever. And um, sit there and I, I was going to actually bring the laptop up and click on that file, drag it to my external hard drive link and let it up because I figured it'd be a good couple hours because it took it took at least an hour and a half I think to put it to the computer now it's a little faster going to the hard drive it's newer and have more speed but anyways it wouldn't come on and I'm listening and I hear the same sound that it did back in December of last year, two weeks after I bought it when it froze up. And it's like whirling, like it's trying to start. You know, beep, beep. And the power light that comes on when you have it charging would flash and go off, flash and go off in tandem with that sound. And that's exactly, exactly what it did back then. Uh, a turn signal would be helpful, lady. If you're turning, or is there a car in front of you? I can't tell. Car. Sorry, lady, about talking about you. Didn't see somebody in front of you. But, um, so, you know, my heart drops because I'm thinking all of my footage from yesterday is on there. And they wiped my computer 
last time they fixed it. Well, I didn't have time to worry about it because I had to get to Cycle World. I needed my 30K done. So, I take off over there, get there, get in line, I'm number five. I think they finally took it back a little after 10. Because they really don't even start doing anything until 9.30 because everybody's involved in bringing four-wheelers and motorcycles outside. But, um, during that, I have contact with my wife see if what she was going to be doing because she was thinking about coming to see her Aunt Sue at Athens at St. Joseph Hospital and I find out from her Aunt Sue passed away overnight and it wasn't a shock I mean she was she's got she she's battled all kinds of stuff she's had a tumor in her neck before they took it out gave her some face facial deficit then she developed something that uh, that attacked her, her muscles and it was in her lungs and she she went to the hospital because she couldn't breathe and uh, they told her that and, and her daughter that they could put her on a respirator use medicine and probably could could get it calmed down and get her stronger could might not and she goes no I don't want that because if it fails then you're just gonna have me on a respirator and I'll never you know never wake up you'll eventually turn it off and uh, she told her husband, I'm just tired. And I'm tired of fighting this. And I just want to close my eyes and go home. I just want to go home to heaven. So they uh, they let her have her, her desire. And uh, they didn't do it. And that night or that morning, Saturday morning, she passed. But she had already decided some time ago that she was going to donate her body to science. It'll be going to Emory University. It's going down here with the SO and blue lights. Somebody wreck again. So there's not going to be a funeral. Now it's been decided that they'll have a memorial next Saturday. Oh, so that become crazy so after I finished I went by my mother-in-law's she's the oldest of sisters just to give her my support all got home well I actually went to uh, my oldest granddaughter's soccer game and uh, when I, after I got home and all that it was probably seven when I called HP. That took an hour and a half. I'd already pulled up the email from when they returned it with the case number and all that stuff. And I said, it's it's doing what it did when I sent it back to y'all before. Still took an hour and a half to go through the whole damn thing. Have you tried this? It doesn't work. Have you tried this? It doesn't work. Because believe me, I wish it would. And I said, I'm really, really upset because I got all those videos on there. And Maria, the, the, the tech assistant that helped me, she was like, well, we don't recover information. It could be a, a uh, conflict with secrecy and all that crap. And I said, I don't care about that. I'm like, I just need one folder. Anyways, when she finished and they're sending a box, and then you send it back, FedEx Express and all that, like I did before. And uh, she says, would you be willing to speak to my supervisor on how well I did? And I said, yes, ma'am, I would, because I want to tell somebody how upset I am. And I don't want to yell at you because it's not your fault. You're just doing your job. So after about a minute, supervisor came on and 
I told them what a good job Maria had done. I mean, she did go do a good job and pushed it along right as fast as she could. But I said, I'm really, really upset at this product of yours. I said, it's done the same thing again that it did right after I got it. And it has something to do with updates because it, it had done an update when it locked up before and it was due to do an update scheduled when uh, the last time I had it on. I said, I scheduled it and went to bed. Woke up, it wouldn't work. And I said, I've got one folder on there that I said, it just makes me irate as Kane. And he promises me that they won't wipe that hard drive unless they have to. If they do, he'll put on there that the tech can rec recover that file. And she told me that I needed to also enclose a letter from me on exactly what's wrong with it too to make sure the tech fully understands and I put on there if you have to wipe you have my permission to pull this one folder it's all I need I'd like to have everything else <laughs> but I definitely need that and uh, so we'll see I might have lost 12 hours of filming makes you feel really good I've determined one thing I don't think I'll buy another HP thank goodness I have a my old Dell laptop that thing's 14 15 years old it's just I have deleted everything that I can delete on it and the hard drive is almost full. I've just got to start somehow deleting stuff that I don't need because I have to work off of the hard drive. I can't work off of the, uh, I can't put anything on the hard drive so I have to work off the external. Anyways my friends, that's been my fun this weekend and my, my shocking notice that I got news on my surgery so I'll put this up tonight if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and a like if you happen to just surf in and you're not one of my subscribers please hit the subscribe button when you do that a bell icon will appear click it and you'll be notified of when my videos are up to be watched and again it just tickles my heart and makes me so happy that y'all come along and ride with me this is Tim <laughs>